actually in this tutorial I want to look on a different way we can look on the erosion filters, how it can actually bring a little bit more interesting details to us. So right here let's create our advanced problem. And we usually just go ahead and apply it and we have those cracks. But one thing what I want to do, what if I want to create a lava explosions kind of, you know, when it's growing. So we can try to do this and see what effect we achieve it. And to do this actually simple, we start using inverters. So right here, I'm going to invert and see now I invert it, I have a total different look. And this inversion, I will apply to my natural filter erosions. So let's go ahead, open this one. And I'm just going to apply some filters, channels here, I think it's fine. We can add a little bit on a rock hardness right here. This is normal. This is just uh, almost look like kind of down okay, segment carry about this much. Let's click OK. The fun part begin. It's uh, what if we take and invert it it's again. So let me go ahead and oops. so just disconnect these ones. So right here, if I'm taking an as example, I'm going to invert this. So let's look right now an output. And you can see we now have this kind of almost veins coming out down. So almost if like lava was going and stopped and you can see those effects going on. Okay, let's go back now. The next what I want to do. I want to create a crack this on the middle. So we already have those veins done nicely. Um, let's go and create height selector. It's what I want because this is, will be our top of the height. So we'll go to um, selector. We'll add selector here and we'll take, of course, our perline connect right here before. This is will be our selector. And we'll go to combiners and we'll take our height chooser. Let's go to edit this one, set to the two. Okay. And we'll just take this um, okay, from inverter, we'll just put on a lowest one. Okay, and we'll just take one before inversion, put it on the highest, and we'll take our chooser. So let's go to lock this right here you can see we can preview okay and we'll just take our height selector let's inverse and look what we had already so we have it kind of interesting we'll just bring this a little bit up you can see it's almost like lava eating through so you can set up maybe around this area and look we have it going right here and we have it very nice effect going on a side because anytime you can experiment even more you can go ahead take perlin noise and for example instead of rigid you can go low so it's create total different effect smooth ridges leave it more just so you can play through all of them see which one is working but okay let's go back to our rigid one different effects so you can see it's almost like lava was explosion something from here and going down again you can take it additional filter natural and apply one more to this to actually increase a little bit more even from those lines so if we're going inside here okay let me go position our zones the zones is just optional so we can kind of see what's going on. Uh, we can go to natural one. Let's add one more erosion. So we'll add here. Okay, we can okay. Preview on this one. Okay, and right here we can also just add even more to this. Rock 
hardness pop up a little bit more. Maybe around right here, so we can add even more effect of the kind of like volcanic. And we will have it also map extra. So right here we have a kind of interesting effect. Again, this is just to inspire you to show you can create more with a world machine by playing around, um, creating maybe craters inside here as well. And of course, the, if you want to create craters, we need to just generator like this. So we can create it and you can preview. Yeah, okay, let me unlock lock it. We can preview this on different levels and you can see we can create a very strong effect on this one, okay? And of course, you can use this inverter idea, kind of create one and another ways on a different type natural filter. So you can going to the snow effect and other ones. And when you do opposite, it will bring you interesting effects. And of course, we can just go to connect. Preview this. And after this, you can just go ahead render and maybe just create something else something other ones interesting look um, map so let me go actually just slightly reduce this one okay right here let me go to log preview so I can readjusting and of course we can work with elevation and you can see with elevation because our chooser work its elevation works slightly different here so we need the as well as a stepness. You kind of create a very interesting effect of the um, futuristic land in some case, maybe. Okay, let me increase here. Okay, preview, let's render to this point so we can preview close up. You can see it's have a very nice effect, very kind of a little bit different opposite of the eating. So more volcanic type terrain looking. Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial from Geeket Play Studio. Please remember, visit us on the web is www.geeketplay.com.